Welcome to Weasel Jaw Gaming. Doing some Pokemon trading card game online. And clearly with Roundhouse Kick and Training Hard both in my active challenges, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and play a fighting deck. Not something I'm looking forward to. Not a big fan of the fighting decks. Let's see. Where's fighting? There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and play the Galarian Surfer Fetched. It's the strongest fighting deck I have right now. And already not looking forward to it. <laughs> I really only want to face, like, electric decks. Uh, <laughs> that's about it. It's the electric decks. Can we, can we do something about that? Ugh, come on. Okay. I'm going to take Hippodon, hoping that I can draw out the Hippopotus. But we'll see. I'm going to be able to throw down 80 damage on Thunderous right away. So that's not bad. He's never going to be able to use Thunderous against me. I say that definitively, and I know it's going to be wrong. He'll switch him out and save him or something. I know I have no chance. So we're evolving to Sir Farfetch. We're throwing an energy down on him. We're going to use Hop to draw some cards. Yes. Hippopotus. Nice. We're going to do Pierce. And get that damage in. Now you could throw an energy on just to pull him out. Ooh. Pidgeotto and Airmail. That's always a good card. Building up Dratini, chances are we're going to see a Dragonair, or even a Dragonite. And he's, she's going to cycle some cards here. We have the Dratini, or the Dragonair, sorry. They're sacrificing Thunderous. Interesting move. Okay. We're going to use Bead, put an energy there. We're going to evolve him to hit with him. We're going to throw another energy, maybe not? Might have played that wrong. We're going to throw another energy on him, and we're just going to do Pierce for 40 here. So that'll take out Thunderous. Okay, good. We got another energy. I want to get... Hippo down here. Built up. But at the same time, I want to be able to use Meteor Assault if I need it. I'm going to try Pokemon Catcher. Try hop. See what we can draw. I'll throw the great ball. I'll take another hippopotus. And I think we're gonna put pseudo wudo down there. Just gonna do Pierce. He's weak to me anyway, so it's a one hit. Okay. Not opposed to another easy hit. 
she's clearly biding her time to get Dragonite. <laughs> really trying to cycle through that deck to make it happen. I think I'm going to just... Uh, I could take Stonjourner and an energy. No. Two Pokemon or two energy. I'm going to take two energy. And I'm going to keep buffing up. These people while they knock out his Grimers. I got a Stonjourner anyways. So we got Dragonite. We can see Dragonite now. Never should have put the second energy on Sir Farfetch. I don't think Sir Farfetch is going to make it. That's what they got. They got Pokemon Communication, so they can get Dragonite. There it is. If I put Hippo out, he's gonna get killed. Might you just put Pseudo Wudo out there? Take a hit for me as I develop a plan. Because. <laughs> Because I do not have one right now. Oh, Dragonite's going to stay in here. Just gonna keep building Stondrer. I think I think after this guy goes down is when I'm gonna make my move. After we lose Diglett. Thunderous back there. Or no, Tornadus. Tornadus? Dragonite's a really good card. A lot of hit points. A lot of damage. Hurricane Charge moves that energy around. But the deck also expends a lot of energy. Oh. Not bad. Not bad.
probably should have put Hippopotas out there, but... Concept is here, Farfetch goes down, Hippodon comes in, gets the kill, he brings in Dragonite, I bring in Stonejourner. And we hope he doesn't have anything else that can fight me. It's going to be a very close match though. Oof. Oof. Uh, it's going to be tough. Shoot. I'm dead. Well, maybe if I had Hippopotas in, I had a way to switch them out or something, but... They pulled Dragonite back at the exact right time. Yeah. Forgot about Tornado's attack anyways. That's okay. Really, this is more about playing evolutions and getting damage. I never play a fighting deck hoping to win. Kind of a moot point what they're doing here. That's such an agile deck, and this for Sir Farfetch deck is not agile at all. Big old power deck that just brings out big heavy hitters. Well, the nice thing is I should be able to get the damage I need. I'm not going to turbo patch, I guess. Um, we're going to go ahead and professor's research. Not that it makes a difference. Maybe it does. I don't think it does, though. No. If Stonejourner didn't have the 20 damage, it would make a difference. Anyways, with my turn. Shucks. So we didn't complete our damage or our evolutions. Oh, we did complete. Sorry. We completed evolutions. We're close to damage. That's eh, not bad. I'm actually kind of happy with the way that went there. Let's get one more match in with that deck. Ooh. Mirror battle. Lost the coin flip. We'll see what happens here. Ugh. Guess we're going with a simian. Huh. 
Huh. Shucks. I don't get to use Call for Family. I don't want to use Rock Hurl. Call for family. Um, bring in Hippo. We can do 150. We're just going to be able to knock out everybody. And then we'll bring in Sir Farfetch since I have. Sir Farfetch. Sir Farfetched. Sir Fetched. I always call him Sir Farfetched. It's just Sir Fetched. He's already got his sir fetched. Oh, good. Because I wanted another one. Come on, hop. Nope. I'm gonna build Sir Farfetch'd up. Man, even in a mirror match, I can't win a fight deck. Double draw is gonna kill me, but I don't want to put more energy on Pessimian. Let me get Stun and another Hippo. Oh, man. He's pulling every card he could possibly want. Getting junk. Junk, junk, junk. Oh, because I have to put him on the bench. I can't even do anything with Pessimi the way he is now. This Hippodon's going to be ready to go. Threw all those cards away. It's an interesting tactic. Okay. 
I'm going to do that. Bring him out. Might as well give this a try. Okay. Didn't work. It's no problem. I'm going to take the hippo down. Down. Bring his R up. He's going to throw an energy on it and then do a massive hit, right? No? There we go. My Stodgerner's not ready to go. So I'm going to bring Passimian back out here. I'm going to Turbo Patch. Hope for some luck. No. Of course not. Really wanted Turbo Patch to work. some cards. <sighs> Call for family. Why does it feel like he somehow has an energy advantage on me? And I really got nothing to go with here. I always like gimmicky cards. I just do. I can't help myself. Like the gimmicky cards. That's what I'm playing right now. Total gimmick. I'll throw pseudo Wudo down here. We're gonna, <laughs> We're gonna dig. No. No good on the dig. But we are kind of. Uh, We're kind of okay. Yeah, I just don't know... what or how to play any of this right now. Because this deck just takes way too much energy. We need some cards, so we're gonna... That's a bad idea. But we're gonna Bird Keeper. Keeping Birdkeeper around for more of a tactical move makes more sense, but I don't get to make that choice right now. I need some cards. I don't even know what I'm looking for, but I'm looking for magic. Now if I put him out, he's dead. I know that. You know that. We all know that. But whatever, we're not even looking for a win, we're just looking to complete 
Daily mission. He's down, I got nothing I can do to him. I only hope is I put out Hippodon. Really, my my entire game rests on him not being able to switch this guy out. He has to just use Pierce for the rest of the game. Even even if he switches him out, he's got time to put energy back on him, and get him back up to speed. He hasn't used nearly as much energy as I have. See. At least the daily challenge is complete. I cannot wait for the day that I get that to full experience and I never have to play a fighting deck again. I don't think I've won. I don't think I've won with that deck. Oh no, I got some wins. Obviously not tonight. Once that some people concede to me. See, I like this Galarian deck. This one, no. Good? Not so much. Alright, what do we got for challenges yet? I think we got a grass challenge out there. 750 damage from grass Pokemon. We'll give that a shot before we call it a day here. Now, I don't have good stats with the Rillaboom deck. I don't. But I like the Rillaboom deck. I got a win streak of zero. Coming into the strong. I won the coin flip. Um, Rillaboom? Yeah, I better go first. I need to get this deck moving. Oh. Sweet. Got some <laughs> Got some real real power plays here. We have our Gossiflower. Which you know honestly, if I can make it enough rounds, it's not bad. I have nothing else to put on my bench. Ugh, oof, ugh. Can we find a decent supporter? Yeah, we'll bring Hop down here. We'll throw a Great Ball. We will take a Rillaboom with a Great Ball. Oh, man. <laughs> God's Flower's not even going to live long enough to do much. Ah, he's got a metal sharpener and down in two turns, man. That just hurts. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Alright, well, at least they go on the bench. Um, let's do Grokey. Let's do Gossiflower. 
Uh, let's do Snorlax. You may be wondering why. This Gus Flower is going to die. We're going to throw this one in. Throw an energy on. Evolve the Blessing of Fluff so that we can throw a whole bunch of energy on someone that can counter this guy. We'll have Rillaboom. Oh, I gotta do the math. I gotta do the math. Do I want that on Snorlax? Does he already have Corviknight? That would hurt. an energy there. I don't care about that right now. We don't need the ordinary rod. We're going to use Blessing of Fluff to pull three energy. We're going to put that energy onto the Thwackmaster. Started putting energy on Corvus Squire, but does not have Corvus Knight yet? Gotta have Corvus Knight. There's Corvus Knight. Hate Corvus Knight. Such a powerful Pokemon. Keep that energy. So we're going to bless it fluff again. We're going to get the Snorlax tuned up. Problem is I need another basic on the board real quick to deal with the Corvic Knight move. I really hope I draw a basic. I can do something to get a basic right now. Because I need to bring Snorlax in to kill Duraludon. Then they'll bring in someone. And I gotta be prepared. What? 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 Alright, fine. We'll use this guy for it. Um, we're going to retreat. We're going to put Snorlax in. We're going to throw another energy on Snorlax. And then we're going to heavy impact. Now we know full well. Snorlax is going to take a colossal hit. And they're going to shield up.
Okay, so... I could heal up 90 damage. I still have 40 damage. I can only take 110. Iron Wing can do more than that. That's not going to help me. Pokey Kid. Another oh, Snorlax. We'll put Snorlax down. We're going to switch this guy back in. I'm going to put an energy on him. We're going to Blessing of Fluff. Throw three energy back on the Snorlax. Should have ordinary rotted too, but whatever. We didn't. Too late. Whatever. So, what are they going to do? Best thing they could probably do is if they had a switch. Pull Corvic Knight back out. There you go. Let's start putting them back together. Okay. <laughs> Snorlax. We're going to Ordinary Rod. I don't know if I really have... Yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that, but... come out and do something like that. So I gotta do a little bit of healing. Just so they have to do something to me. Heavy impact knock him out. Totally sacrificing. Really? Okay. I mean, that kind of makes sense. I, there's no way I'm going to get enough energy to do anything with that. So my big debate here, uh, I guess I blew that. Um, I can just take that guy out. Press protects him from 20 after applying weaknesses. Resistance negative 30, so that's 50 less. Still can do enough with that. Yep. That was a 
down. Corvic Knight will not be able to do enough damage to him. Okay, so we're gonna switch in all the grunts again. We're gonna Pokemon Center Lady, a real of them. We're gonna throw an energy on him. We're gonna Blessing of Fluff. We, we have a bit of an energy crisis. Let's be honest. We, we've used Blessing of Fluff to drain every last energy out of my deck. Let's see if you pack, I can kill you. Why did you pack? this down. I honestly don't think I want Gauss Flower out there. I think we're going to throw Gauss Flower away. Oh, he gave up! I think I had him cornered there. All my damage with Snorlax, though. I needed to move faster so I could have gotten that 180 damage. Inevitably, they're they're always going to drop out of the match, right when I'm about to like do something useful. All right, well I'm going to end there. That's I'm going to end on a high note. I have a victory. Uh, we completed some missions. Not not altogether a bad night. So. All that good. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.